Hey guys, Kieran here again, and in today's lesson we're going to be looking at the song Secrets by State Champs. So, this will be an acoustic arrangement of the song. The actual song itself will sound slightly different rhythm wise, but I put together this uh, arrangement just so uh, if you want to play just by yourself or sing along with it yourself, uh, you can do with this. Um, so, this song you need to tune your guitar a whole, uh, half a step down, sorry. Um, I've got a capo on the first fret just because my guitar is tuned a whole step down so I need to bump it up a half step to make it sound like it's a half step down so you guys just tune your guitar a half step down and it will sound just like this so in the description I'll put what you need to make each string to put it into that tuning um, but essentially you're just dropping each, um, each string down one note um, and it will sound like this so, getting into the song now, um, we're going to go straight into the verse. Um, so, this tutorial, um, it will use five chords altogether. So, first one will be an E major. The second one will be an A sus 2. So, if you know just an all A major, just take the finger which is on the second fret of the second string off. And uh, leave it open. The third chord will be this this B power chord shape. So it'll be first finger on the second fret, the fifth string, and then third finger on the fourth fret, the fourth string, and then the last, the pinky finger will go on the fourth fret of the third string. And you want to leave the highest two strings open and mute this uh, this low 6 string as well. Uh, so you can do that with your first finger, muting that string, or with your thumb, or with your spare second finger. The fourth chord will be this C sharp power chord shape. It will be exactly the same as this B, just moved up two frets. And again, mute that uh, string there and leave the highs two open. Uh, and then the fifth chord will be this F sharp minor shape. So you want your first finger on the second fret of the third string, third finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string, and then pinky finger on the fourth fret and the fourth string. And you want to leave this high E's two strings open again and mute that sixth string. So you can do that with your thumb or your spare second finger, whatever's easiest for you. So they're the five chords. Um, strum pattern wise, there'll be three strum patterns. Um, drum pattern 1 and drum pattern 3 uh, will be exactly the same other than in drum pattern 1 you'll be palm muting and then in drum pattern 3 you'll just be plain open um, but those drum patterns will be in the description um, so for the verse you'll be using drum pattern 1 and you'll be playing E four times uh, so when I say one time that's one time through the drum pattern um, so you're playing the E four times, and then you'll be going to A for one and a half times, and then B for half time the strum pattern, and then you go back to the E for four times the strum pattern, then to go back to A for two times the strum pattern. So strum pattern one will sound like this: down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. So when you when you're on these chords, um, you can palm mute the uh, the downs, and then when you get to an up strum, you can release the palm mute and just just hit the high strings. So it sounds like this. Just like that. So when you're on this E, like I say four times a strum pattern. On this A one and a half times, so when I say one and a half times, you play the A one time through a strum pattern, and then half time the strum pattern. And in the description I'll put a slash to where, uh, within the strum pattern to where you need to change to the next chord, which will be a B for a half time the strum pattern. Then you go back to the E, like I said, for four times, and then go back to the A for two times the strum pattern. You don't do that a to B thing again. 
Um, but all the cores will be in the description just in case um, you miss anything with this tutorial. So, and then you go to the pre chorus, which will go to strum pattern 2, which is basically just uh, all down strums, uh, just with a, an up strum at the end. So, you're on this F sharp for one time the strum pattern, to A for one time the strum pattern, back to F sharp for one time the strum pattern then to A for one time this room pattern. Uh, and just before you get to the chorus you can just put a few moots in there. Uh, but I'll just go through the verse and pre-chorus now just so you can piece everything together. You call me in the right place at the right time so I'll just dive right in. See you got a black space and you black mind so where's my second one? that last A in the pre-chorus you can do three down hits then then um, dead in the strings then do a few moots ready to go into the chorus. Now going into the chorus um, you move to strum pattern three which is exactly the same as strum pattern one you just don't palm mute this time you're just playing, uh, playing it all open. So the chorus chorus consists of an E for one and a half times the strum pattern go into a B which is half times the drum pattern and then you go to an A for one and a half times the drum pattern then back to a B for half times the drum pattern back to an E for one and a half times then back to the B for half time and then you go to this C sharp which you play for one time the drum pattern and then you go to this A for one time the drum pattern and then you do some mutes in in the in the feel of shroom pattern three for one time the shroom pattern. So I'll play the chorus now just so you can get a sense of um, of how it sounds. just in case you've missed anything um, but just to recap it's E for one and a half times the strum pattern to B for half time A for one and a half times B for half time E for one and a half times to B for half time then C sharp for one time the strum pattern then to A for one time the strum pattern and then you do some mutes um, using the strum pattern three for one time the strum pattern. So those mutes will just be and then you get into the next verse. So the next verse, the next pre-chorus and the next chorus are exactly the same as the previous verse, pre-chorus and chorus. Um, and then after you play that you go to the bridge. So the bridge uses strum pattern three. Um, but the first bit of the bridge you do uh, just like at the end of the chorus you do one strum pattern through of mutes using strum pattern three and then you get to an A which will be two times strum pattern through and then to an E which again will be two times strum pattern through and that A to E sequence goes around five times. So I'll just play the bridge quickly now and then I'll just uh, recap over it. And I'll just play, I'll play the chorus through and then I'll go into the bridge just so you can piece everything together. I got more secrets
past the bridge, you go into the final chorus, which is a double chorus. So you play the chorus essentially twice. So just recapping on that bridge, um, after the chorus, uh, the bridge starts with one strum pattern um, in length of mutes, and that'll be strum pattern three. So it'll be. And then you get into the chords, which is an A for two times the strum pattern, and an E for two times the strum pattern. And that plays five times in total. Um, so it'll be A to E, A to E, A to E, A to E, A to E. And the first A to E, uh, there's no singing on. I think there's a little solo in the, uh, in the song. And then for the final four times of A to E, that's where the singing comes in. Okay, so I think I've covered everything there. Um, like I say, all the chords will be in the description. Uh, all the strum pans will be in the description as well. If there's any uh, comments about the tutorials, any questions you have, uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And if there's any requests as well for future songs, um, make sure to put them in the comments as well. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button uh, to keep up to date with uh, future videos. Um, I'll be doing some more stage champ stuff. Um, as well as Pierce the Veil, Sleeping with Sirens, bands like that. So until next time, peace out.